Hey guys, my name is Meg, and if you're new here, this is TWE, or Teenagers We Experience. Today I'm going to be talking about how my school has dealt with the COVID-19 pandemic. I am currently in physical school, but as of Sunday, my school has announced that on Wednesday we are pivoting back to home, and we will be doing online school. Thing that they are trying to enforce is social distancing, but they aren't really doing it that well. A uh, majority of my classes are not socially distanced. My fear class is the most socially distanced, and and in there we are only about two feet apart instead of recommended six feet. In math, we are elbow to elbow, and in English we're set up like a pre-pandemic classroom. In the hallways, there's no social distancing. They try to tell us to keep right, but a lot of times they don't enforce it, and we are up against each other trying to get to our classes. The cafeteria has not been modified since March, and we are exposed to get to each other, which is not good because that is the one room where we do not have our masks on. It does not make me feel safe. It does not make me feel like they are trying. Honestly, it makes me feel like they don't care. The second thing that they are doing is contact tracing. Um, contact tracing is when somebody tests positive, anyone who sits within six feet of them in all their classes has to quarantine for 10 school days. As of right now, we have about 800 students quarantined along with 15 teachers. Contact tracing goes back to people, so anyone who is near the first person contact trace will also be quarantined. So, if you are friends with somebody and they are in direct contact with a positive case, you will also be quarantined for 10 school days. Just a reminder, I do not live in a very high quality state. I live in the middle of Oklahoma. There's not that much here. There's not that much to it. I know it, it, it's very different in other parts of the country and in other countries. The third thing that they've done is preventative measures. We are required to wear masks, but nobody really enforces wearing it over both your mouth and nose, um, which you should as the proper way to wear a mask. Um, they also hung up these signs to tell us to watch our distance, wash our hands, and wear a mask. These are about as effective as the posters to buy homecoming tickets. We ignore them. We are still up close to each other. Um, there's not much being done. There's only eight people allowed in the bathroom at a time, but that was a rule before the coronavirus came along. So, really, they aren't doing much. Hand sanitizer is available in every classroom, but nobody makes you use it. And if I'm being honest, most people do not use it. And we clean desks at the end of every hour with antibacterial wipes. Also, our school is split into East Campus and West Campus. And sometimes you have to cross to get to where you need to be. When crossing the street, they don't enforce mask wearing. They don't enforce us to social distance. They don't enforce anything. And we are in groups of 100 to 300 people crossing the street. It personally does not make me feel safe. Um, I do not feel safe being there in the middle of a pandemic, but since we're pivoting back to home, that does make me feel a little bit better, but still it was like they weren't even making an effort. It is clear that it is unsafe for us to be in school right now in person, yet our school keeps us in. Students are not informed when anything is happening, so as far as I know, we could be in virtual by the time this is posted which we will be.
We will likely be in person until a tragedy takes place. That's why we're pivoting back to Um, so stay safe, wear a mask properly, and please, please, please stay home if you can. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you the next time I make a video. Bye!